What up, y'all? It's your boy R to the A to the S. Yiggity yes, riggity ride. Here with Pacific Cost Blog. And then we're going to talk about the Cray, the Grammys, the win of the award, this interview with Tyler Oakley, all right? And the effect that this one's going to have on CHH in general. Now, first off, we're going to give Brother Lecrae his props. Second time nominated for a Grammy. Second time winning, all right? Second year in a row. Now, he was nominated for three this year. One on one, all right? So he's two, one, two. Nominated for four, all right? Now, I don't know how how you look at that. Now, is that sort of like, like basketball or something? You know, you got a two and four record. Is that like a bad thing, all right? Or is it, you know what I'm saying, he got two Grammys? I'm, I'm leaning toward it's more a positive thing, all right? Cause a lot, some people, you know, they don't, they don't get Grammy nominated at all. If you do get Grammy nominated, you ain't gonna win. But this brother not on one, not only one, but two. All right, a lot of greats, a lot of great rappers ain't never won none. So you gotta get a boy's props. Two Grammy wins. All right, one for gospel, one for CCM. Now let's get to this interview with Tyler Oakley. Now I'm talk about the positives with the interview with Tyler Oakley. A big, okay, because you never know how them interviews going to go. It's going to lead to more controversy. We're going to have countless months and months of stuff. Talking about Lecrae, they said this in the interview and that. I don't think it's going to happen this time. And thank the Lord, because I don't feel like doing no more blogs on Lecrae and his interviews. But what I did like about this interview, well, number one, I thought, you know, like last time, you know, his answer about, you know, winning, you know, the gospel war and you know, what happened and all that stuff. This time, he gave a good answer. He was like, hey, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate, and this really pretty much defines me. I'm all in all these lanes, you know, I'm CCM, I'm gospel, I'm hip-hop. That pretty much defines me. Great answer. All right. We got to hit our controversy on that. Great answer. All right. He said I'm in all lanes. I'm CCM, I'm gospel, I'm rap, whatever. All right. That's what defines me, it's all right? That's Mr. Anomaly. So, whew, okay, we enjoy this controversy. Now, though, it ain't all a happy piece in the crib. And you know your boy Rod got to point out, you know everybody else scared to say something about it. You know, boy Rod don't care, all right? They, they got, Illuminati going to get me, Illuminati going to get me, all right? I'm talking to you, Illuminati, all right? Y'all going to get me, going to get me. Let me talk about this. That interview with Brother Tyler. When Lecrae picked that brother up. Now, we all know Tyler's attractions. All right. If you ain't seen it, if you just look it up. We know who Tyler, uh, his, uh, his attractions. Okay. We all know that. So, why is Lecrae picking this brother up? Okay. Brother asked him some questions. Okay. What's your workout regimen? Lecrae going to say, Oh, picking up people like you? The crane. No, no, no. Okay? Because that certainly led to something else. You picking that brother up? You can't do that. Now, you might say, why you can't do that? What, you going to get the cooties or something for picking up? No, not. That ain't going to be silly like that. But we know that if this was a woman he picked up, everybody would be all up in arms. What you doing picking up a man? You're a mad man. What you doing picking up a woman? Right? If that was Lala Anthony Carmelo's wife, everybody would go crazy in nuts. Right? If it was uh, Amber Rose or something he picked up, a Kim Kardashian he picked up, everybody would go crazy. Like, hey, man, that's a married woman. Why are you doing that? You never know uh, what that could do to that woman. Pick it up. Okay? Y'all get my drift? Same thing here. Okay, all the women and him have some things in common. <laughs> okay, when it comes to attraction, you can't do that, man. You can't do that. You can't pick that brother up. No, all right. So that was you got sucking into that brother. All right, what you like? What should work out regular? Right? Picking up brother like you. Okay, pick me up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 
That's time to say, no, I was just joking, man. I was just joking, bro. I was just joking. That's that's how you play it all next time, brother. Don't be, no. Then the tough brother talking about, what's your key to success? Make a hit record, shave it on my chest ass? What? No, Lecrae, you can't do, you can't, you can't, you wouldn't say that to a woman, all right? You can't say that to this brother. You can't do that. You never know, okay? What kind of, do y'all get what I'm trying to say without me saying it, all right? No, you can't do that, y'all. All right, you can't do that. Now, I get the brother props. When the brother asked him who he looked for and listen to, brother said Sal Smith, all right? Now, that was smart. Knowing Brother Tyler, you know, going on there, you know, by Sam, you know, Sam Smith, Ty, you, you, you all get what I'm trying to say? You know, say that was smart. Now I'm saying Lecrae ain't a fan of Sam Smith. He is, all right? If you go to his Spotify page, uh, one of the songs he liked, it stay with me, all right? So that was kind of smart. I like that. He did that little connection right there. Now, okay, these are jokes. These are jokes. I already know y'all typing up t -t 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 angry stuff on my jokes. That's all right. All right, you got. I gotta accept that. Illuminati, if you watch it, I gotta accept that. All right. But anyway, we'll get to the water cell. Now, when he did the acceptance speech, I know some of y'all wondered what was he gonna say. Is he gonna talk about J E S U S? And yes, brother Craig did say J C J E S U S. He called him the giver. All right. He said, I want to celebrate the giver of gifts, Jesus. All right. So he said, Jesus. That's all you gotta say, all right? You get awards, set the speech, people start clapping. All right, the Christian community can't say nothing. What, you would admit you had a time at a platform, you could have said something? He said Jesus, all right? He talked about love and sacrifice. He ain't, he ain't going to, you know, talking about the cross. But hey, he said love and sacrifice. You can, you can, you can probably figure that out, Jesus. Sacrifice, love, put that on. I, I think people can figure that out, all right? So, good job on that one, okay? Now, I don't know how to, how the Father and the Holy Spirit felt about that. He didn't mention the Father and the Holy Spirit, all right? He mentioned one, I don't know what I'm saying, one person and the guy here. Yeah, now, how the other two felt, I don't know. I can't speak for them. I'm not them, okay? I don't know how the Father felt. I don't know how the Holy Spirit felt, all right? But he did mention the love, all right? Uh, so, yeah, good job on that. Now, finally. Now, I already know what y'all going to say. What effect is this going to have on CHH? All right. I already know. I think I saw some of Rapzilla about that. Listen, I don't think it's going to have no major effect. I'm pessimistic when it comes to that. All right. The Cray, you know what I'm saying, is doing his thing. All right. But I don't think it's about, okay, we got to put other artists on and stuff like that. Pretty much on his tour, as far as I know. You know what I'm saying? He got Pandemonio, he got this DJ, and that's it. So, unless, you know what I'm saying, they, people come to the show, you know what I'm saying, it, it's going to, you know, help people like Pandemonio, it's going to help reach records. As far as other artists, I'm not really all that, you know, optimistic about that. And I'm not saying Lecrae has to do that, all right? Every artist got to do their own thing, all right? You got to get your own. You know the commercial. You got to get your own. You got to get you on. Y'all know that, that brother with the afro. You got to get you on. Everybody just being honest. Everybody got to get their own. So, I don't think it's going to have no major effect like that. I think, you know, it's, it's gonna, is it going to make Lecrae brand bigger? Yeah, I mean, the brother selling out stadiums, y'all. I remember the brother was going to churches. I mean, I looked at his day. I don't see the brother on the church. The brother's at the stadiums, okay? Churches ain't big enough, all right? Something the mountain, well, maybe Osteen. Yeah, that's a church. <laughs> Shot fire. Leave that alone. But anyway, it's not a lot of churches that's that big, okay? So, the brother said I stated, I think Lecrae brand is going to be, get bigger. But as far as this blowing up other artists, I ain't that optimistic. So that's my thoughts on all this. Love to hear yours. I already know what's going to happen. It's okay. That's what I do comedy for. This is Proceed with Cause and Blood. Cobra Suss and I'm out.